Hey everyone, Christina here. Welcome to another card video at my YouTube channel and blog. Today I'm starting off this video a little bit differently. It's very casual. Um, I just wanted to talk to you guys. Um, I've done these like on camera things a little bit more recently and I really have enjoyed it. I used to do that back in the day like a million years ago and I kind of like it. I think it's kind of fun. I feel like I get to talk to you guys a little bit more casually. So anyway, before I get to today's card, I wanted to let you guys know that the online card class that I'm teaching with Jennifer McGuire and Laura Basson starts today. So if you want to get in on this class, it's called Rainbow Maker. You still can. You can register and join us over onlinecardclasses.com. I'll have info and a link down below if you want to do that. So, okay, so today's card came about because um, I got this book sent to me by Peggy Dean. I followed her on Instagram and she contacted me and said, hey, do you want to want to try out this book that I wrote? And I said, sure, no problem. I would love to see it and try it out and see what it is. So it's basically like a step-by-step -step guide on how to draw florals and botanicals and leaves and things like that. So it's right up my alley. And not only that, but because it's step by step, it can be really easy to do for just about anyone. So I'm going to, going to go over to my craft desk and make a card today. It's kind of minimal supplies DIY style. I'm only going to use the book, a pencil, some watercolor paper, and some really inexpensive Crayola paints. So uh, let's get over there. So this is the book. This is Botanical Line Drawing by Peggy Dean. And there's 200 step by step flowers, leaves, cacti, succulents, and other other items found in nature. So it's kind of fun. Um, you can kind of tell from the front that it's going to be more of a whimsical style. Uh, a little bit realistic, but a little bit more whimsical also. So I'm just going to like kind of show you a little bit of what it's like inside. And then I'm, I've picked out two items that I'm going to uh, base my drawing on. So you can kind of see how she has it like different steps leading up and then you can actually draw it yourself down at the bottom. So I'm, I'm not going to be using this aspect of the book today. I'm instead going to draw it directly onto a card. But I do appreciate the different steps and how it's broken down so it's not as daunting. It's not like here, let's just draw this right now. Okay, go. <laughs> it's not like that. It's, um, you know, it starts from the center of the flower and you're adding four petals and then here's another four petals and you're building one step on top of the other to get to this final result. So I have another step-by-step uh, -step floral book that I've been using and I'll link that down below that one's um, by a different author also someone I follow on Instagram coincidentally but um, turns out that these the both authors are friends they've actually done giveaways for their two books together and I think they're kind of fun like one has a more realistic approach and then this one's a little bit more whimsical so I think it's you know the more the merrier so anyway you can kind of get an idea of what to do here and there is um, and I love that this is all like hand drawn and stuff. I think it looks awesome. So there's a lot of fun things in here. It's broken down into like just leaf shapes. And then, you know, I mean, it's, it's a really good variety. So if you're looking for like lots of different ways to draw flowers and leaves, this would be a great resource. So that's what I'm going to use it for is, you know, to, to see different types of leaves and things like that. So I've got two that I thought would be fun to show you. And this, this is the first one that's kind of like a curved stem with leaves. And then the other one is this set of flowers right here. The two flowers, one on top of the other. I thought that would make a really great watercolor card. So I'm gonna grab some watercolor paper and we'll get started. Like I've done in the past, I'm gonna be using some Canson XL watercolor paper for this minimal supplies card. I'm gonna cut it down to be my card front, so I'm going to cut this at four and a quarter. And I'm also going to cut this part at 11 so that I can just fold that down. So I'm going to start drawing the flowers. <laughs> um, and hopefully, it won't be too difficult to follow along. I'm gonna put some music over this and maybe speed it up a little bit because it might take me a while. But I'm basically just going to draw these two flowers um, probably a little bit off center on the card, a little bit more to the left, I think. Yeah, here we go. And the good thing about doing floral shapes is that they're very forgiving. So even if it's not exactly like it is pictured, um, you'll still be able to pretty much tell that it's a flower.
Okay, so there are my flowers. I didn't do the the detail lines that are on the example because I'm going to be watercoloring and adding more shading there. So having those lines in won't matter for now. I'm gonna go ahead and do the leaves. Okay, so there is my little arrangement of flowers. So the watercolors I'm using today, like I said before, are from Crayola. I'm going to be using a size four round brush from Royal and Lang Nickel. This is one of their Zen brushes and these are really, really great watercolor brushes. I'm going to mix a bunch of colors that I'm going to be using in my painting. And because I'm using some inexpensive paints, sometimes uh, it'll look, straight from the palette and if you want to make, change it up and get more bang for your buck literally a buck sometimes you can get these for a dollar um, you want to mix your own custom color so I'm going to do some color mixing here I'll link up in the top corner of this video to um, a whole series of videos where I've just done custom coloring with inexpensive watercolor sets like this What I'm doing now is I'm wetting the areas around the flowers so that the paint can flow freely and then I'm dropping in this kind of toned blue color just to give it a little bit of color around the flowers and leaves.
All right, so there is my card today. If you guys want to pick up this botanical line drawing book by Peggy Dean, I'll have a link down in the description below to Amazon where you can pick it up. And a big thanks to Peggy for sending the book along to me. This is a really fun exercise um, trying, to, trying to do something completely from scratch. So it's kind of a fun experiment. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I will catch you guys very soon. And thanks for watching.